Hi, I'm Cheryl Capizzuti. I'm a faculty member here at Falk Laboratory School where I teach uh, visual arts and do a lot of collaborative work. So my name is Timothy Wagner. I'm the technology teacher at Falk School. So we made the choice this year we did recycled robots and we used all recycled junk like shoe boxes and salad containers and all you know like things like that. They're currently using uh, the SNAP interface which is similar to Scratch through the University of Berkeley. I mean it's thrilling to make a robot, right? It's thrilling to use the materials like laying around your house to turn to bring them in and transform them into something that moves and wags and flaps and lights up and it gives it's like just such a great introduction to animatronics. I think uh, I think they absolutely love it. Um, it's one of my favorite projects and I feel it's one of the kids favorite projects. Uh, every time we showcase it to parents and and uh, other students you know they're they're glowing and uh, you know the parents are excited about what their kids are able to accomplish and I've had like um, kids and their parents come up to me and ex express how interested they're in, get emails from parents, you know, where can we continue this on outside the classroom. So I give them um, support that way or where, the, where can they get the hummingbird kit and, you know, so their child could uh, tinker around with it more. Like there were moments where we were like, oh no, it doesn't work the way we thought it would. And I think that's a normal part of experimenting with technology and that if you don't, you kind of have to have that spirit. <laughs> no, I enjoy doing it, so uh, I'm right there, you know, in the pits with the kids, you know, getting my hands dirty, helping them out, problem solving, because um, that's something I enjoy doing, too. I mean, I love any project that puts kids in a position of thinking like artists and thinking like designers, and I think that I want to set up a studio environment where um, students love to walk in the door and love to make art, make robots, make things work. And this is a project that's like that. And I'm also kind of, I like to learn new things. Like there's nothing worse than being bored as a teacher. And this is a project that continues to challenge me professionally to be thinking ahead and to be best supporting students. You know, just tinker, just, just have fun and play and everything will turn out okay. <laughs> Challenge yourself but not too much, make a prototype, expect that it's not going to go exactly like you planned, be able to roll with it and trust the kids because their kids are smart, they can figure it out and if you say to them, I think you got this, they usually do.